Right now we're going to use a piece of bronze and make the, the plug out of that. I'm just going to face the outer end of the bar and then I'm going to centre drill the other end just in case I'm going to put it back on the chuck because it makes it a lot easier to get lined up again once it's once it's got a centre drill mark in it. The ball will not be wrong with a sort of rough cast bronze it's somewhere near that's all. In fact that face has already been machined, you don't need to bother. I think we've got enough to get that off there and part it off. I don't want to waste any of this because it's an absolute fortune this stuff now. material that's for certain I've actually put a centre in here if we needed to but I think I've got a good enough hole on that not the not the needle one for that diamond are there first it's just about there anyway we'll finish that cut off and then go for the final size unfortunately the microphone decided to pick the noise of the machine up over my voice so I'm going to do a little bit of voice over over the next two or three clips on this video I'm sure you'll still be able to enjoy it. I've got the piece of bar machine down now. The big diameter is actually outside finished size of the thread. In the small diameter there, that's the actual core of the thread. I've also machined a groove in the back for the scroll coating tool to drop into. We need to set the stroke cutting tool up at 90 degrees to the job. It's simply done by holding it against the flat face. I know it's on cent eight because I use this tool and this tool roller all the time. All I'm going to do is touch the tool off. Now zero the cross slide, and I'll also zero my DRO. I'm not going to use the compound slide to put the cut on, I'm just going to go straight in with the cross slide. That's the way these cutters are designed to cut the thread. When it gets down to full depth, it'll actually touch the base of the cutter, the flat bit, next to the point. I've just engaged the half nuts, so now it's going to start to cut the thread. I put a very light cut on, just a scratch cut. Because I want to make sure that we are still cutting 
the 11 TPI because I have changed the feed settings since the last time I used it. Disengage the clutch once it gets to the end of its travel. Then we'll simply reverse the lathe, screw the tool out, reverse the lathe and wind it back. The lathe runs twice as fast in reverse as it does forward, which is quite a handy feature. I'll turn the tool back into zero, put the lathe on forward again, ready for the next cut. I'll bring the screw cutting gauge in and just make sure we're on fat cutting the correct thread. Right here we are. That's a screw cutting gauge and I can see where I'm looking, it's absolutely perfect. It's cutting 11 TPI. Right, so we'll put a more depth of cut on. 0.2 a mil I think it was. Right, so now it's actually cutting the thread. The thread's 100, or the thread's 1.49 mil deep. So I know that once I go in 1.49, the thread is cut to full depth. Once again we've stopped in the groove, out of the tool, reverse the lathe, then we'll put a screw the tool back into a zero, a little bit of cut, and it goes on and on until we get it cut to full depth. There was a little bit of chatter on that last cut, so I've decided to put a tear stock centre in. I put a centre mark in anyway, so I might as well use it, it certainly wouldn't do any harm. This is my favourite centre, it's a really robust one, really accurate. I'm just making sure I've got plenty of clearance between the end of the tool holder and the chuck, which I have. So now it's cutting the thread, there's no chatter, much better. normal sound seem to have resumed so I can just sit back now and enjoy the video. Bastard gonna screw in. Tight, piss wobbly or? Oh. Oh, 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 yes, John. Yep, that'll do for me. Nothing the matter with that, so the measurements don't work. It could have been possibly a funny tight if I hadn't taken that last clean up cut. It's tight on the original one, so it's gonna do the job. I'm going to put a square hole in the back of the bastard now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy. I've put it back in the chuck, and you can see by putting the centre in there in the first place, I've actually managed to get it running spot on. So I had to pick that sort up, pick that thread up again. I could, uh, I'll do a little video later on showing how you actually pick the thread up in a lathe by using the compound slide and jiggling things around to get it to start again. It's something that's worth being able to do because quite often, you machine the thread, you take it out to try it in the job, and the bastard's too tight. Now you can't, you can't always put a test piece onto the actual job in the lathe. Right, we're going to part this off now. Yeah, there's that. 
We need 0.75 off that face and then the next part of the job is to put in the square hole which is that thing there which is going to be interesting You're up now, it's getting a little bit messy in here on the area of the layers. We'll get this job finished first up. Eighteen mil at the very bottom of the wall. That's ten. Eighteen mil. The drill's blunt, which is ideal for putting this stuff. fits in that place quite nicely. The first thing I need to do is find the, the centre of the hole. Just use this point and just eyeball it to be able to get it very near indeed. It's just about dead on there. So at zero the DRO will know that's the centre. I've got a super mill and cutter here. I've got a few of the same size, so we're in with a fighting chance of getting this done without breaking too many. So we need to measure and see what size that hole's got to be. Obviously minus half the thickness of the mill and cutter. A little bit of maths and then we'll set some stops up and go about getting this thing machined. Right, we've got 20 mil square hole, 19 one way, 20 other, 20 mil square hole. The milling cutter, I think it's five, it's a five mil milling cutter. So if we take five or 20, that's 15. For half 15, that's seven and a half. So we need to go seven and a half that way, seven and a half that way, that way, and that way, I think. And we'll put the stops on to make sure that we don't go any further than that. Stop that up again. It means it's square, not totally square, but it's going to 
got a kick in the arse off. Okay, so it's straight to the other side, but I'm sure they'll have a, a key that will screw that in. Um, 20. 21, it's nothing in it. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Very happy indeed. That's the plug screw into place, I'm very happy with that. Worked out quite nicely. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do, it's free. Just click the button. I'm getting very, very near to 100,000 views. In fact, it should be 99,000, hopefully, by this time next week. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>